So today we are going to be constructing a perpendicular line through a point given a line. All right. So notice we have a line here. We want a line perpendicular to this line, but we want it to go through this exact point. All right. Now we're going to do that with construction and a compass. But before we do that, let's kind of think about how we're going to do this. And it all comes down to constructing a perpendicular bisector of a segment. We're going to use that same idea. The only difference between this and this, well, there's a couple differences, but the main one is with a perpendicular bisector, we have the endpoints of a line segment to work off of when we swing our arcs. When we're constructing a perpendicular to a line, the line has no ends. So we can't swing an arc off the ends of the line because it never ends. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take our compass and set it so that it's farther than the distance from the point to the line. And we are going to swing an arc so it hits the line in two places. All right. Now, see where that arc hits that line here and here? What we're going to do is we are now going to pretend like this right here is our line segment and we're going to construct a perpendicular bisector of that line segment. So it becomes just like what we were doing with a perpendicular bisector of a segment. All right. So if we do that, then all we need to do is set your compass so it's more than halfway across the segment. So eh, this is probably good. All right. And what I'm going to do is I need to have a point above that I can work with. So I'm going to make a point below. So I'm going to swing an arc underneath the line here. And I'm going to use that same compass setting on the other side of my line segment, I guess you can think of it as. And see where the two arcs intersect right here? That point is equidistant from this point here and this point here. You see? It's this distance is the same as this distance. So that means this point is on the perpendicular bisector of this segment. And we already know these points are equidistant from this point because that's where I swung my arc from. So both of these points are on the perpendicular bisector of the segment this from here to here. So I can draw my line now. There you go. Put arrows on the ends. And I'll mark it as perpendicular. And there is my perpendicular line through that point. OK? So basically, what we're doing is we're swinging an arc from that point and then using where the arc hits the line to find another point equidistant and then draw a line through it. OK? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.